harmful huh? to your womb. The first line of defense, huh? The first line of descent, defense. Well, it, the next line of defense is. No, I'm gonna say the first, and and it's not my confusion about that. It's a matter of structuring it uh, for conversation. It's mama. And the reason I said that is because the male plays a role in that. And the role that he plays is her comfort. Right. Hey, I'm going to say it like this. When you know you the shit, you're pretty <laughs> comfortable, ain't you? <laughs> huh? I mean, that's just when you when you know you got the power, <laughs> that you that ain't fret shit. Right, 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 right. So I'm like brother Durst. Well, that, that's that's the way it is with the black man. The black woman fears nothing. By nature, she fears nothing. Why? The comfort. She is the comfort to what? Us. And we are the comfort to her. Mm. Why? It's the power that we have. That's why it's important for the white man to kill us in front of her. Right. Right. Destroy the image. Destroy that image that he has no power. So she cannot depend on him. So she cannot depend on him. Right. Because he has no power to defend his own self. He has no power to defend his own self. And this must be done in the front of particularly in the front of her and the, children. and the little male child. Yes, sir. In particular. Yes, sir. You got to understand what's going on here. This is working on your insides from the outside. Right. You know what I said? Yes. Working on your insides from the outside. Outside stimulus. Uh, it's something that y'all need to study. You know, I think understanding microbial biology. Micro microbial. Microbial. Microbial biology. You need to study. You know where I'm at? You you at really life. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. I, I, I really tried to really avoid going to religion. The reason I tried going up not to religion because the minute you hit religion, it don't nothing but arguments spring up. Right. Christian, Muslims, Buddhists, or what have you. It just all turns into a bunch of argument that leads to nowhere. Right, and people close down. People close down. That's why I say it at night. Right. I don't want to go to no books. Right. You need to study what's going to tell you about organisms. But, you know, it doesn't matter what religion or school of thought they represent. You cannot argue the responsibility of the woman. Let me, this is, this is something, and I said, I'm going to tell you something. This is why. When you, quote unquote, die, 
if you could put a slow movie, you know how they do plants when they put the camera on them and they, right. they have it where you from can the see them from the, the seed yeah. all the way grow. Right. You could put that on the human life, Time right? Time. Your ass gonna turn to dirt, soil. Physically, you gonna be dirt, soil, and rock. Bones going to be, why do you think the bone is mental? Rock. And they, they last so long. But the flush, dirt, soil, Vegetative. earth. Yes, sir. And it's got water, majority part. 75%. Right? Yes, sir. So, tell me. Why in the shit do you think God is something other than human? Because they've been taught that. I know it, brother. Why? Where did this come from? If it don't you say the message taught you anything else. If you go back to the atom itself. Smallest form of matter. Go back to the atom itself. What is it? Show me any material that is void of atoms. Hmm. And see, what you're saying now yeah. is the reason why I said we didn't, meaning men, we didn't give her that responsibility because she can't see us for who we are. You got to say God because they separate God from man. Let me get to that point. Yeah, see? Because we talked about that. Who created the first pattern? Mm. First genetic code mm. pattern mm. of life itself. Mm. Who is attributed that honor? God. Answer me this. Then why would the pattern be? How could it be? Any other way. Than the way in which. He brought forth himself. Shit. Oh boy. That's a good question for y'all to answer. What it is. This day is the day when the mystery of God truly is revealed. Every mammal and humans fall in that category. On this planet come from a female. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thing it is, you can't find the female out of which the atom itself was originated. You can't find it. It came from somewhere. Where did it come from? So teaches the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It came from the womb of darkness. Then tell me, what is the darkness? You don't know what the darkness is. You say it's mysterious. It's mysterious because you don't have the knowledge of it. It's only 
one can give you the knowledge of darkness. And that is the one who originated from it. Yes, sir. You say, if it's man, then I tell you, he must love it. <laughs> Listen. Yes, I am a student of my teacher, but I'm more than that. That darkness, how can he not love it? It produced him. Listen. How can he not bring it with him? He can't help it. He's tied to it. He's tied to it. Genetically. You in my book, the last of my book. What did his master, what was the last words of his master to him? At the very to the disciple. At the, very end or the very end, the last words that his disciple, that his master told him. What did he want him to study? Uh, the darkness. That's what he wanted him to study. Right. Read it. It's at the end. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the very last page. Yeah. That's after he had. After he had see. done, after he had burnt the rock mm -hmm. and sat on the throne. <clears throat> or the seat, must not call it a throne. It is right. <laughs> Yo, give us a minute. Start reading that. All right. All right. <laughs> the disciple kneels before the throne of the Great One, uttering the sacred words of obedience. He then sends, stands, and walks up to the throne and sits in the seat of his master. Okay, For okay. him, it was as if a mother were cradling her newborn baby in the warmth of her bosom. He begins to reflect on his master and his journey from the east to the west and back again. Now, while meditating and contemplating inwardly with skillful ease, he sees his master's face. He is smiling, as always, with his ever-penetrating eyes and bright, uh, beaming, sunlit face. His master speaks. In you, my son, I am well pleased. Here, in my rest, peace, and ease, this journey is finished. And now I must return to the source. The disciple says, the source, master? But I thought, the master says, there you go again, <laughs> limiting yourself. Remember, the only boundaries are the lack of wisdom knowledge and understanding of yourself. His master's face began glowing faint in his mind as his, as his disciple struggled to hold the image of his countenance. The master's last words of guidance to him were, my son, you must focus your mind and meditate on the darkness, the void of emptiness. Keep going. Keep going. Then he could see his master no more. He used all of his power to draw his master's presence night and day. But the more he tried, all his mind could vision was darkness, the void of emptiness. Then he reflected 
on the last words of his master. I must focus my mind and meditate on the darkness, the void of emptiness. And so he did. He focused his mind and began meditating night and day on the darkness, the void of emptiness. Then suddenly, something vague began drawing his attention to an area of his mountain home that in all the years of living there, he had never so, never so much as noticed before. It appeared closed, a wall of darkness, but as he was drawn closer, he found it not to be closed, but simply void of any light. Strange, he thought, not even one ray of light enters this place. The closer he moved to the darkness, the more he found himself drawn by its subduing force of attraction to enter. Hmm. He can resist this attraction no longer he enters. The disciple says to himself, strange, I cannot see, nor can I feel this place I am in. Is it real? In the instant of his mind's utterance, he sensed the most beautiful inspiration he had ever known. Yes, it is real, and you can see. Remember, look with your understanding and envision me. The disciple, awed and speechless by revelation, intently moves. He seeks to envision the voice of it. Are you prepared to take this flight? Beyond all manifest, beyond all light. At this point, what was vague has now become apparent. The disciple replies, yes, I am. And I can see the light of you is the school. Say it. The, the, yeah. the disciples replies, yes, I am. And I can see the light of you is the source of me. Then the disciple, utterly overwhelmed, pauses. Then he says, into infinity I now do fly. My reason for being is clear to me. Why? It is for you and you alone. My life is yours. My love, your own. Upon saying these words, the darkness became illuminated with the strangest light, one he had never seen before. The light was black and revealed the shape and face of the void of the emptiness. It was the face of a woman, so black yet so illuminating and radiant. He knew the only way he was seeing her was with his mind. So grateful I am, I must surely you know, the disciple mind uttered, my love forever, my work will show. And as he in the beginning moved in the darkness, he was again back on his throne in his cave dwelling. Now greatly inspired to write, he reaches for his sword, draws it from its sheath, and with masterful artistry, he moves as if reeling silk from a cocoon and inscribes on the wall before the throne these words. That's it. Yes, sir. If you notice, through all of the scriptures and books, who is least talked about? The woman. <laughs> Why? And generally, by most when she's talked about, it's in the negative. Right. Why? To keep you from reconnecting. You got to understand something here. They tell you about God, but you don't, you don't seek to know who they are. Who they are. See, that's the thing here. Somebody else is always telling you about everything. Right. And because who they are, right. meaning how much power they have, 
you accept it. You don't investigate the day. Right. Program. When I say it at the women's forum, was this. You name me. You name me. One that is closer to God than she is. Listen. Listen. Especially the sisters. Listen to what he's saying. <clears throat> You have to understand something. You looking toward the east. That's not the way to look today. We no longer bow to the sun. The sun bows to us. Teach. The creators of it. And we in the west. Teach. Shipped and changed. Yes, sir. What are you saying, Brother Wally? What is? I'm saying what is today. Now prove me a lie about it. That's the thing. You got to figure out why you can't prove it to be a lie. When God not created Hear me. When God revealed Himself, big difference. Whatever is created has a beginning. And if it has a beginning, it has an ending. Am I right? You're right. Yeah. Do the Kwan bears witness to that fact? Yeah. Whatever huh? yes, sir. has a beginning has an ending. Has an ending. <laughs> but what if they can't find the beginning? The only way they can't find the beginning of him is because he has no beginning. Always was. Always. Always will be. What are you saying, Wally? I'm saying he didn't create himself. He revealed himself. Mm. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, praise God. Believe it or let it alone. He revealed what was the reality of himself. Of himself. Mm. He shined light. How did he reveal himself? Mm. Say, oh, don't you know? You out there who is Stay. telling everybody all about God, don't you know? <laughs> All I did was just study what my teacher gave me to study. Yes, sir. It was enough. Wake up message. I know a lot of them out there saying he ran out of wisdom. <laughs> well, I laugh like a I laugh like a silly man when they talk about he ran out of wisdom. Bro, you have no idea. <laughs> he revealed himself. How did he do it? How did he reveal himself? He showed you something else was in the darkness. What was in the darkness? You couldn't see nothing until 
he revealed himself. And coming with him came the light. Mm -hmm. 